Hello everyone, in this video I will be showing you guys how you can record screen of your PC using Obio Studio in 4K quality absolutely free on Windows, PC, Mac and Linux. This Obio Studio is a freeware program really best for Windows and Mac for screen recording and streaming. I will show you how to get this software completely installed on your PC and will show you complete demonstration to record your screen in 4K quality. We will do some configurations in settings to get videos in higher quality. But before being new to this video, if you are new to my channel, consider subscribing my channel. First of all, you need to go to your PC. In your favorite browser, you need to type OBO Studio. Hit enter. You will need to go to the link at the top obsproject.com. This is the open source freeware program for Windows, Mac and Linux. I'm on Windows platform so I will click on Windows. Then it will be downloaded on your device. In your download directory, where you have downloaded it, open it and make sure you need to run it as administrator. Hit the next, next and select the install directory where you want to install. Then click on install and let the program to be installed. Launch the program. So this is the main interface. Small dialog window with auto configuration wizard appears. Here my preference is to record the screen of my PC in 4K resolution. I am not here to do streaming, so I will select this option, optimize just for recording. Here in your case you need to select to your desired preference. Hit the next button. Now here in a base canvas resolution, my monitor display size is 1680 by 1050. My PC sports multiple displays. So here right now I am using display 1. But for you, here you need to select to your PC display size. In FPS frame per second, you need to select either 60 or 30, but prefer high resolution. Hit the next button. Click on apply settings. So now here we are on the main interface of this OBS Studio software. Here on the right bottom corner, we have an options for streaming, recording, virtual camera, studio mode. But here our main topic is to record the display in 4K resolution in this software. In my next coming video, I will show you how to stream on YouTube or any other video sharing platform with pre-recorded or with live stream. So stay tuned with my videos. So first of all you're gonna do is to go to the left side of OBO Studio. On the scene sections, you need to click on the plus icon and enter the name of the scene. Here you can give any name, then click on OK. In the source section, in the plus icon, you will see bundle of options. Here you need to select display capture and give it any name you want and hit OK. Then you will start seeing of your display inside the windows. Awesome. Then you need to hit the OK button. These red lines, left, right, up and down, shows the base canvas resolution and my PC display size is totally fit with it. Here make sure you need to capture the best fitted display screen of your PC. Before recording display, we need to do some configurations in the settings. In general settings, at the top, there is an option for language change. I want English to be here. You can also change the theme of this software. In the output settings, we have output mode simple and advanced. We are here to select advanced, then it will be like this. Our main topic is screen recording. So here we are only concerned with settings for recording to be configured. Here type should be standard. In recording path, you can select the directory location where you wanna save your screen recordings. You may even select the video format to which your screen recorded video will be saved. In encoder, you need to select the option your PC sports in hardware. In my case, here I'm using dedicated NVIDIA graphics card, which is NVENC H.264. So I will select that. One of the most important thing here you need to know is to change rate control. We have CBR, CQP, VBR, and last is loseless. One of the best we need to select here is VBR. We selected VBR here is because it encodes our media files into higher quality files. So it is highly recommended here to select VBR. To get best quality video, we need to change minimum bitrate to 40,000 kbps and max bitrate should be 60,000 kbps. 
keyframe internal value should be 2. Change the preset quality to the max quality and profile should be high and then hit apply. Here in the audio settings we need to do some important configurations. You need to keep these two settings as a default. In the third option mic auxiliary audio you can select external mic if you are plugged in with your system. Here for me I'm using external mic microphone to USB audio device. Then you have to leave all other settings as it and click on apply. In the video settings now we are here to configure some even more settings. First of all at the top we have base canvas resolution. My PC display size is 1680 by 1050 and this is the full size of my PC display. Here you can even customize best fit screen display of your device to be captured. In the output scale resolution, you can even customize the output resolution to be scaled for the best fitted output resolution. For the content creator like me, for the video to be posted on YouTube, Facebook or any other video sharing platform, we need entire video output scale resolution to be in 1920 by 1080 or we can also have 1280 into 720 resolution. But here I want video to be sharp pixels. So I will select the value to 1920 by 1080 resolution. In the downscale filter we need to select length source sharpened scaling 36 samples. And common FPS value must be 60 and then hit apply button. In advanced settings the process priority must be high. In the video settings we need to select full color range and leave all other settings as it then hit apply. Now we have configured all of the settings. Awesome. Now we can start recording our screen display size. Now you need to click on start recording. Now it is recording my PC screen. The running time of the recording you can see. You can even minimize your OBS studio. When you are done with your recording you need to click on stop recording. So now your raw file of your screen recording video is ready. You can now edit it to any of your favorite video editing software. Now we need to go to the recorded video, right click on it, go to the properties. The type of the file is MKV and the size of that file is 19.9 megabytes. So this file is ready, you can use it in any software for video editing. This was all about my video. I hope you guys find this video really helpful. If you have any questions or any confusions, you may leave your comments below. And if you are new to my channel, please do not forget to subscribe to my channel because I make videos on stream and tech on this channel. Thank you very much for watching this video.